So I saw something like, I don't know, did they kick you out of the job? They, huh? yeah, something like that, but they give me a retrenchment letter for, there is no reason for it. They There's just, no reason? No. Huh? No. I want to pray, you want to go back? Amen, thank you. My, na my name is Selvi Shilongo, I came from Namibia. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I received a prophecy from a man of God saying that he is hearing a name, uh, uh, Selvi, and then she lost her job. And it was me. By then, uh, I lost my job, whereby I got just retrenchment, just like that, for no reason. But then a man of God, he said to me that he want to pray for me so that I can go back to my job. And you losing your job, how did it affect you? It, it really affects me uh, in many ways because sometimes I have to help my brother and my sister, my family, and that those ones that are close to me. So it, 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 has, been, it has been troubling me. It, 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 has been, it has been not an easy thing to me. So, but I thank God that I am going back. So I'm happy. Words of encouragement to the viewers? For the word of encouragement encouragement to the viewer all over the world. I just want to say pay a visit to the Charis mission. The God of Charis is the God of now, the God of solutions. So I just want to say God is here. Restoration, breakthrough, everything that you might find it's here in Jesus' mighty name. Are you hearing me? But this No, 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 what is this? Not long ago. What is this? I don't know. N. H. There's a problem in your ears. Is this no long ago? Huh? Huh? Come again. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a same name that starts with, with N. N. Huh? Nangolo. I'm seeing N. I'm seeing O at the end. Uh, N A. Huh? N -A. I'm saying at the beginning I'm seeing N A. At the end I'm seeing L O. Oh. Huh? But it's like he doesn't understand. Okay, I want to pray for you. And I want this. There's a certain spirit, Mama, that is trying to press you when you're sleeping. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. And now this spirit will end up causing pains here in your stomach. Yes, it's true, man of God. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. And now this is the same spirit that wants to also divide your marriage. So, Jesus. but after we've prayed for you, people, I'm telling you, mm. because this man believes so much in. <laughs> Let me not speak about. Uh, so you were preaching in a church? I was preaching in the church, and the man of God professed to my wife that I must stop because it's not yet God times. And then I leave everything. But it's like, I don't know, this church, have you ever been to a church? Is it assemblies? Assembly? No, it's a word of life. No, no, you have not been to a church called assemblies? Huh? Mm. No, now we used to go to one church at a Swako. Used to go? We used to go to one church at a Swako. Just sorry for... But it's not assembly. It's not, it's not assembly. assembly. No. Mm -mm. I want to pray for you. Amen. Mm. Because I just saw you go, people going like this. Yes, true. Yes. Huh? Because yes. we have no church to attend huh? now. Oh, we have me? no church to attend now. I saw you turning around. It's true, man of God. I saw you moving from this one to another one. It's true. So yes. please, from here, don't go to assemblies. Amen. Okay. Because that's what you've been doing. Yes. Huh? Moving yes. from this church to another one. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. I want to pray for you, Mama. Against this spirit, as I said, I'm seeing a spirit that is causing things in your, in your yes. stomach here. Amen. So I believe, and now it's also killing. Uh, I was preaching, yes. It's true. Are you hearing me? Yes. 
something like you know Miriam Miriam huh? I'm seeing something like Sylvia Sylvia and I'm seeing she Shilongo yeah Shilongo huh? Shilongo is my same name Sylvia is my name so I want to pray for you so that you must go and work Amen. come out the demon come out people of Namibia have got demons. Eh? Where is your father? Huh? Because when, Namibia. when I'm yeah. touching you, I'm hearing, let's pray for your father. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm seeing that he's starting to develop sugar diabetes. Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I'll pray for you because mm. right now, when I'm praying for you, I'm hearing pains. Yes, on the to, feet. Yeah, I used to, huh? to, to feel the pain on, on the feet. On yes. him. I'm yes. hearing pains on the feet. Yes. So, but after I pray for you, your mm. father is also free. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come here. Come here. You demon. You spiritual. Come out. You people are free. Even your father is free. My name is Lavinia Shkoeni. Um, the next person um, is my husband, Nathaniel Shkoeni. We are from Namibia. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, I have to confirm it because um, I used to feel pain in my womb. So, and he said there is that spirit of a uh, spiritual husband that used to attack me. I can confirm it because sometimes I used to see attacks, but that spirit is just one to to sleep with the button, it won't touch me, but it used to, the, it try to sleep with me. That is the truth. And how was it affecting you? It affects me because sometimes I lose hope. I, cause all, all the times I just feeling the pain all over my womb. And that, that is it. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling released. I'm just okay now, by the grace of God. Amen. Papa, can you also tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, my name is Nathaniel Ashkoeni. I'm from Namibia. The man of God prophesies uh, about me that we have, my wife here got a spiritual husband and we lose, there is a, there's a attempt to lose maybe interest in each other. And then that is true. Yeah, sometimes I used to think, ah, why my wife like that? If we're talking about let us sleeping, it's just pain, pain, pain. When that pain will end? Yeah, through that things it bring now breakthrough in you know, in my marriage, and my man of God speak again about my my father, that he got a tumor in his body. He developed the tumor. Yes, I confess it is true because sometimes he used to feel sick in the body and he used to go and receive a tablet each and every times. And when man of God touch me, he say I'm healed, and my father is healed as well. Yes. And how are you feeling? 
yeah, now I feel released in my spirit now. Even when I come from Namibia, it looked like I was in the bondage. And now really I'm feeling released in the name of Jesus. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Oh, for the, all the viewers over there in Namibia, all, all over the world, if you have a problem, just come to the chalice. There is God in chalice who can set you free from all the bondage you have. Amen. Come here. This issue of hearing things. Huh? My brother. Let's pray so that you must not go to prison. Okay. Are you hearing me? Thank you. Yeah. You know when you say, okay, I pass. Okusi. I want to pray for you because I saw, I heard something like Ukusi. I don't know Ukusi, but I want to pray for you. I'm so fast. Yes, you man see, of God. I'm fast today. Huh? Molu? I'm so fast. I want to pray for you. Yes, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of because God. Because I saw that there's a spirit of stagnation that is happening there. You've been praying, praying, so that God must bring people that will be able to support you, but nothing is happening. You're very right, man of God. You're very right, man of God. Spirit of disappointments. And I'm Spirit hearing that if you're not careful, you'll, because I'm seeing that, were you in hospital? Yes. Huh? Were you in hospital? Yes, I was. Huh? Yes. Let's pray so that you must not go back. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I'm seeing a spirit that wants to kill you. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes, of course I do. One of the things that they want to do, they want to cause accident. I want to pray for you. Are you hearing me? Yes, man. Of I God. want to pray for you. But you, uh, when did you go to hospital? I have a leg problem. This leg of mine. Huh? I have a leg problem. And now this thing is causing a pain in the back. Yes. Huh? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. But let's pray. Let's break the spirit of disappointments. Are you Amen. Amen. Where is your husband? I am not married. Huh? I am because not married, man of God. It's a spirit that they want to, it's like, this spirit wants to make you to have children outside of marriage. That is the plan of Satan against your life. And it's this true, man of God. It's a curse of the whole family. So it's I want true. to pray for you. Number one, you must never go back to hospital. Amen. Number two, let's break this case of marriage. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, and man of I'm God. I'm hearing something like business. Yes, man of God, I have an interest in doing business. Huh? Yes, I'm planning to do business. I'm hearing something like a business that is coming to you. Amen. And after this, is. if you do it, God will lift you up. Amen. Because you're even thinking about something like selling. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I I'll pray for you. From here, God is going to change your life. Amen. Come out. Come out. Come out. You demon. I said. My name is Rauha Usiku and I come from Namibia. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, the man of God prophesied to me that I, I have a spirit of disappointment and that he sees me in the hospital. Uh, yes, it is true that I do truly have a spirit of disappointment because I am always disappointed in everything that I try to do, whether in relationship or career life. So the man of God, what the man of God said to me is true. And about going to hospital, yes, I have a leg problem that always takes me to the hospital all the time. And... Um, uh, concerning the, that the devil wants me to have children out of marriage, that's also true. Because, yeah, the man that I am currently seeing is asking us to have a baby. And I told him that, no, we cannot have a baby out of marriage because I'm a Christian. I told him about my life in Christ. And he's just, yeah, telling me that, yes, we should have a child. So the prophets of the man of God is true. And how is that affecting you? It's affecting me very much. Yeah, that's why I came here. I feel like I do not, there's no direction in my life. I just came here for direction and uh, for the purpose of God to be fulfilled in my life. Because 
before I, ca I came here, I did not understand myself. I don't understand my life. Nothing is working, stagnation everywhere. So now that I have come here, I believe that this prophecy has brought a breakthrough in my life. And how are you feeling now? No, I'm feeling very relieved. I'm really happy. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Word of encouragement is just to say that we must trust in God. In whatever we do, we must first seek the face of God. Because many a times we tend to do things on our own without asking the Spirit of God. Like when I come here, I only came with one thing in mind. I did not know that the man of God was going to talk about the sickness and the disappointment. So God is the one who knows everything about our lives. Before we even speak he uproot he speak to um, about the roots of our problems yes i'm hearing something in my ear yeah. yes mama can you interpret oh jesus i want to pray for you i I, I'm asking him if he, he understands. Are you hearing he voices? Yeah. Can you interpret? No. no I, I just. I just mm, no. I just. Uh, if I'm. Go on the report, come on, do it and the pop you and my can do it on my can do it and the fan, the pop you. You say that the. He had some people, they talk about him, against about him. Huh? He said, sometimes when, when he's at a place, he feel like there's a people talking about I'm him. See, I'm but looking he, at him, I'm, see, I'm hearing voices. He hear huh? like the people are talking to him, but he don't see them. I want uh, to pray for him, because they, will, they want to twist his mind. Yeah, you know what I mean? so, the reason is, this problem is coming from his father's side. I want to pray for him so that God must restore him. From his father's side, they were worshipping things. So I'll pray for you. Huh? Does he know what I'm talking about? He said yes, he know. So I'll pray for him. He's going to be free today. Another thing is marriage. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Another thing is what? Onjokan. Zoga. Zogan. Onjokana. Bon Zogana. Married. Yes. <laughs> bon Zogana in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> in Jesus' name, Bon Zogana. Bring him. I want to pray for you. Okay, you hear me? Okay, man of These are marital problems. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And are you having a gun? No. No? Huh? No. Please. Let's. God has saved you. Huh? God has saved you so that you can change the whole family. Are you hearing me? Okay, man of You God. know what has happened to you, huh? Yes. On the issues of prison and everything. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you. You will never go back to prison. Thank you, Menor. But of God. right now your focus is God now. Come again. I'm saying right now your focus is the word of God. Yes. So I want to pray for you so that your faith must go up. Thank and you. And I want to tell you there's a solution in this marriage. Thank you, Men of God. Did they give you something like eight years? Come again. Were you given something like eight years? I don't hear very well. Were you given something like eight years in prison? I supposed to be eight years in prison, but I just be there for four years. And another case, they, are don't, they just give me three months. You're free, sir. You're free. Go and serve God and God will see you through.
I want to pray for you. Yes, man of God. Let's break this case. Yes, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of because God. Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing people that are wearing things here. Huh? Yes, man of God. This, these are people of your family. That through you, God can change this family. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. You're so, very right. I'm from a, I'm from a family of Muslims. I'm seeing people wearing things on their hands. Huh? Yes. Yes, and man of God. Ish. So I want to pray for you. Because You're I'm very saying, right. This are, there are things here. Yes, man of and God. They are wearing long things. Yes, man of God. Going down there. Yes, man so of God. I want God. to pray for you. Through you, God can change these people. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of and God. And this anointing must come to you to break this poverty. Amen, man because of God. Because you've been trying to preach, trying to please. Be careful of invitations. Yes, man of God. Are you hearing me? Because many people that will come to try to invite you, but don't. Are you hearing me? I'm getting you, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, man God of God. God is going to change this situation. This poverty is broken today. Amen, and man God of God. And God will bring people that will be able to support you. Amen. You're free, sir. You're free. In Jesus' name. You're free. Where's your husband, eh? But I'm seeing. Let's, I don't know. Is it the brother? Huh? Excuse me? Let's pray for these people. Are you having a brother? Yes. Huh? Brothers and cousins. Huh? Yes, brothers. I'm seeing people that these are people these people they don't care about God. It's true, man. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. And now this case, as I'm asking about the husband, it's also following them. Case of marriage. Case of marriage. Case. Uh -huh. It's true, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of I God. I want to pray for you. Let's break the spirit of your family. Yes, man Are of you God. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes, man of and God. And now, even oh, job issues. It's true, man of God. So after I pray for you, God is going to lift you up. Who's this one? It's my son and daughters. I want to pray for them, men of God. So I, I'm going to pray for you. God is going to help you. Mm. Because your family, I believe God can change you people. But many of them, they're not living right. It's true, man of God. It's like the mic of today is like it's not working well. I'm saying mm. God want to change these people because many of them, they're not living right. In your family. It's true, man of God. I'm seeing people that are, they go to parties. Parties. They go to parties. It's true, man uh, of God. Drinking around. It's true, man uh, of God. It's true. I'm seeing them doing many, many things. It's true. That you're not happy about. It's true. But I want to pray for you. Let's always pray for your health. Okay. Oh, you hear me? Yes, man I of God. I want to pray for you, and God is going to help you. And God will also help your children about jobs. Yes, men of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, men of God. Because I'm hearing your children complain. Children. About jobs. My children. Yes. I want to pray for you. Who are your children? Where are they now? They are at home. This one, the daughter, is working at the University of Namibia. I'm hearing them complaining. And oh, this me? one is a taxi driver. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm hearing complaining about their jobs. Yes. More this... especially a boy. Yes, it's true, man of so God. I want to pray for you, and God is going to help you. Because your daughter, she's complaining about money. It's true, man of God. Mm. Oh, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. So after I pray for you, I don't want this case to follow your children. The case of marriage. Mm, it's true. Because you, you have suffered a lot. It's true, man. In of the God. hands of men. It's true, man of God. In Jesus' name. You're free. You're free. My name is Justina Igugua. I come from Namibia. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The men of God prophesied me about uh, 
uh, he asked me where is my brothers and uh, he said that uh, I have to pray for my brothers because of the marriage and uh, there is a case in our family following us the case of marriage but uh, I confirm this is true because uh, in our family we are born ten but it's only three of us they are married the seven we are not married and he is also asked me about uh, my children and uh, he said that uh, my daughter uh, is complaining about the money yes it's true my daughter complain about the money because my son uh, he is a taxi driver but uh, he don't have a money and uh, the man of God of process uh, he said that uh, uh, my children he said that they, they doing parties parties it is true both of my children especially my daughter my firstborn she like you do parties parties i confirm all this prophet is true and how was it affecting you yes it, it is affecting me and always i pray for them i pray for my children and my, i pray for my family and uh, when the man of god pray for me he say that uh, everything is free i'm free and my family is free thank you my lord jesus amen i want to pray for you i want to pray for you and let me come mama let me basala you. Amen. I want to pray for you. Amen. And God is going to help you. Amen. I think they spoke with you already. Yes. So you people you are free. Amen. And by the grace of God, whatever that you are trying to do, God is going to do it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, it. Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. Do you know anyone who's in politics? Yes. Yes. Huh? Hey. Who's doing politics that you know? Her cousin, I think. Huh? Mr. Nashanti. Is it him? I, hmm? He's, I don't know. He's I having a, a, a. Is it a cousin? No, my uncle. Yeah, his uncle but is a minister of. of uh, I forget it. <laughs> but he's, into, he's doing politics. I, I really don't know because I'm not across to him. I don't know what he is doing, what his job. I really don't know. Because I'm seeing someone who's, who want to, who's very close in these things of. Huh? How come you don't know what your uncle is doing? You're not close to him? Huh? Uh, no. Huh? I'm not. I want to pray for you, sir. Huh? Amen. Because, uh, so God is going to help you. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. So you know him? I know him. Even to our wedding, he came there. He's a minister of... Uh, Transport? No. The ministry changed now in the government. So he given another position as a minister, as a head of the ministry. In the, the government? In the government, yes. Let's pray for him. Huh? Amen. Let's pray for him. I'm just seeing challenges around him. Thank you. And you, let's believe more in business. Yes, my Lord. Let's believe more in business. Amen.
You are free. God bless you. God bless you. My name is Ivana Namuya. I'm from Namibia, and the person next to me is my lovely husband, Freeman Namuya. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy I received from the, f the service, men of God, um, gave me a prophecy that I have a problem with the eyes. When I discover it, when I'm at work, uh, I see when I'm uh, working, looking through the computer, sometimes I just notice, I notice that one, this of my eyes start not seeing very clearly. And then I, I went to the, to the um, doctor and then I get some glasses so that I can use them when I, every time I look to the computer. I thought it was the computer. I never know it was a problem with the eyes caused by any demon or something. I, I was just like, I feel so, sometimes I feel so pain. I thought it was maybe the whole day when I was at work, I, I look through the computer. I thought it was like that. I never noticed that it was a, a problem of caused by the demon. Now, men of God pray for me, but now I, I, was, I was always feeling headache here, headache here, very painful. Sometimes it started, I ignore it. Sometimes I just say, maybe it's because I'm tired. But now when the men of God give me that prophet of eyes, now I realize that because, it was, because of that demon was in causing me headache. And then now here, men of God, uh, the prophet of God give me a prophecy. Uh, I, um, uh, prophet Andreas gave me a prophecy about that he's seeing something doing uh, political but in my family truly I really don't know who is doing political there are a lot of uh, I have a lot of family that are working in government yeah my my uncle even my brother they are also working in government yeah I just pray to God that he, whosoever it is may God uh, deliver him on their situation in Jesus name when I when the men of God pray for me because they had they had my head I was always feeling very heavy here. Sometimes I say maybe because I'm tired. Now I realize that it was that demon that was disturbing my life, and I am free now. Thank you, Jesus. No more headache, no more pain. Amen. And Papa, can you also confirm the prophecy you received with your wife? Yes, it's true. It's hundred percent true. And as I'm a member of Charles, I always come here. We receive deliverance, prophet. Uh, everything what happened today is true. I confirm it. My wife, she said it all. I thank Jesus. I thank you, Charles, Missionary Church. I thank Apostle. I thank Jesus for giving us a wonderful man of God. He's a really lovely man of God who's always helping us to deliver us and casting those demons to cause trouble in our family. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.